I'm gonna be honest. I mean, this is kind of like an okay Sonic game. It's not too out the park. I think with the with Sonic Mania, I guess they figured they had like a a lane going back to the side scrolling method of playing Sonic, but you can tell they made this just to you know this was made for people Sonic Superstars feels more like a party game like they intended for it to be played with multiple people like that's that was the way it was intended to be played and even then it's still kind of like more or less a, a I don't want to say it's a bore, but I feel like they could have did more with it. You know, like Sonic games, they kind of been on like a... Almost like a roller coaster, right? Sonic Origins, you know... Was... Decent. I mean, for me it was. The average person might not like it because they weren't into the Game Gear game era like they didn't care for those games me i was happy just to play through them so i felt so i got my value out of that mostly um but yeah sonic superstars it's it's a game that's intended to be a party game more or less it's traditional sonic would almost we're pretty much like a real co-op feature you know like it's meant for that reason but it's outside of that I don't really see um Sonic Superstars being that much of a you know what I'm saying that much of a uh that much of a game it was cool to play through don't get me wrong it was just it was Sonic it gave you more or less a retro feel for like the the classic side scrolling style of Sonic games. But outside of that, it's just you know it's just regular Sonic. With Amy and all that. And a bunch of optional stuff. I still don't know what all that prototype stuff was for. I don't know if that was just to make him look different or you actually got to play with him or something. I, I don't know. But I ain't gonna lie, like I did like some of the stages. Cause you could tell that they remade others. Like past stages. Based on you you could tell they made these stages based off of past stages. Like they took inspiration from past Sonic games. Like um I I can vaguely remember the name of the of the stages, but it was one that kinda reminded me of like Casino Night from Sonic 2. And it was like a little bit of mixed in with, um, it was kind of a little bit mixed in with like Carnival Night from Sonic, um, from Sonic 3. It's like they kind of mixed those two, two stages together. I don't know if somebody would agree with me, but it literally felt like that. I mean, but outside of that, I mean, I think it's a cool game. I mean, I think it's 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 just okay. Like, it it doesn't do enough to... How can I put it? It doesn't do enough to satisfy the Sonic palette, quote-unquote. But it does enough to make me say, okay, there's something more that could have been done with here. It's, it's like... I want to say that they're on the... I wouldn't say that they're on the right path, but they're looking in the right direction. Like, I think that's a better way to put it. Like they're, like, they're looking in the right direction. and They're not necessarily on the right path, but they're looking in the right direction. You know, Sonic is always, at heart, it's always going to be a fast-paced slash time attack style game. Uh, collecting emeralds. I mean, you could try to incorporate, like, a somewhat of a, like a, a story into it. But, at, at heart, it's always going to be a side-scrolling style game you know yeah try to experiment with it you know like with sonic um unleashed 
you know, experimenting with things like that. The Sonic uh, Forces. You know, even Sonic Frontiers. I think that was a cool game. You know, even though it was discovered they just rehashed uh, the bouncer class from um, from fucking Fantasy Star. But I think it's kind of, you know, some people say it's lazy. I, I say it's them trying to experiment with something in another game that normally wouldn't have that. And it worked. To Sonic Frontiers, it was an alright game. But this, it was just traditional Sonic. If you're a fan of like the the traditional Sonic games, then you you'll definitely love this. You know, fast paced. Every character has their own episode. I think I missed Tails' special episode or act. So it gives you a chance to like. I I don't know if if with the co-op like they still let you play with multiple people, or if the person that picked that character gets to play that stage by themselves. I don't know. So when is this gonna end? Get some for getting all these rings. Another thing, I never did understand what this vision was used for. I don't know if there was a certain stage where it would be useful, but this was like the most useless thing. These powers in general were seldomly helpful. I would say the only one that was really helpful was this uh, was this one. Because it was just some boss battles you could just end quickly. Like, for example, the last boss. I got the last two hits from using this and just ended it. Like this little shadow clone multi copy, whatever the fuck. And this was helpful at times just for getting past certain uh past certain points. You know what I'm saying? So in that regard, this water one was useless unless you're in water. And there's only like one water stage in the game. So it really didn't make any sense to even have this as a power. Like, I gotta be honest, like, this water one was so bad. Like, it was good for the one time you used it, but outside of that, it was just like... If, it, if it's only useful in water, why the hell would you even give it a place on a power wheel? It's not like there were, like, multiple water stages in the game, so... Outside of that one stage, it really didn't... It really didn't have no purpose. See, now, if this power wheel right here... If they would have made it to where you needed to use certain ones for like the final boss, like for example, he used some type of chaos control at the end to where he were one on time. What if he did something to like send you to like different stages or different, you know what I'm saying, different stages that made you have to use those powers. Like he sent you to a water stage so you needed the water power to use it. Or he sent you to a stage where you had to use the fireball. Or a stage where this would have been helpful. Or even this. Because this was... Like, you never use this in the game. Like, you literally never use this. If they would have made a certain... Um, if they would have made a certain... Uh, certain stages for these. Like, more than one. Then I would have seen the usefulness in it. Like, this was just a gimmick that just didn't have a place... And I don't even know what the other ones are. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm missing three emeralds, so. 
What the hell? New oh trip. That was that was her name, Trip. Trip story is available. Trip. Well, I guess we'll check out Trip story some other time. But right now, I mean, I guess Sonic is Superstars is officially done. So thank you guys for watching me play. Uh, until next time, where we check out Trip story, um, I'll probably do that around next week. But um, yeah, it was cool. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I'll see you guys next time for more Sonic Superstars.